When it comes to oral history, sometimes it's best acted out. When the Stars Trembled in Rio Puerco is an oral history play based on the stories of the Vietos of the Rio Puerco Valley, collected by New Mexican author Dr. Nazario Garcia. And it is brought to life on stage by our two guests, Associate Director of the Performing Arts Program at the National Hispanic Cultural Center, uh, Joseph A. Watson, Jr., along Thanks. with the writer and director of the play, Shabana Coelho. That's Did cool. I get it right? Yes, you got hey, it right. Hey, I, I said I was going to mess it up on air, and I actually <laughs> didn't. Pretty proud of myself. All right, so uh, first up, we're going to talk about this play in particular, mm -hmm. um, but this is part of a larger entity, uh, the Latino Play Festival, uh, Siembra. Yes. Is that right? So, Joseph, tell us a little bit about this uh, Latino uh, Play Festival. Uh, Siembra is, is I, I would have to say it's the first uh, Latino theater festival probably ever in, in, in uh, New Mexico. Really? Okay. And, and uh, it's not like your normal theater festival where you have the theater festival and it's over maybe a month and right. you have the different shows um, uh, each evening. Mm -hmm. This f festival is over nine months. Really? So oh. we're, we're presenting nine shows from nine different theater companies that the National Hispanic Cultural Center is partnering with. Uh, and each show is running for two weekends, basically. Uh, some of the shows one weekend. But it, it's, it's kind of unprecedented to have a, a theater festival over the, the entire yeah. uh, season of, of, your, of your place, uh, yeah. the National Hispanic Cultural Center. So it just, we're excited about it. Yeah. And it's actually has created quite a stir and had, had, it has brought together a lot of these wonderful theater companies mm -hmm. who, who have uh, embraced the festival and embraced what the National Hispanic Cultural Su Center is trying to do with the Latino theater scene is That's to right. bring it in the forefront. Yeah. Now this this play is kicking off the the festival. That's right. Now it's it's kind of interesting. Of course, we had um, uh, the the author uh, Nasari was on a couple weeks ago, and we yeah. talked about the transition from an, uh, a book into a, a play, and he spoke very highly of you as a writer and director, said oh, he was very great. talented. He said there's no <laughs> way that he could do it and turn it into a play. Yeah. Uh, my first question, yeah. Shabana, what prompted you to, to take this from the page to the stage? It's some, I think it was meeting Nasario. You have some sense of how vivid his stories mm -hmm. were. But there, he spoke, I saw him speak, and he spoke about a river and his abuela, and mm -hmm. uh, they kind of just, images sort of leapt off and I began to see it as, as, as a series of monologues okay. and that then that changed as and then he gave me this book that they're based on and their mm -hmm. stories th th this book called Recuerdos de los Viejitos they're stories of you know tragedy and loss and love and community in these four now ghost towns in mm -hmm. the Rio Puerco Valley yeah. and I think like when you go to a place where there's ruins you know there was just enough left to make it so vivid, and I just mm -hmm. wanted to make it more vivid. Yeah, okay, so you took it on, you adapted it. Now, were there a lot of stories, of course, it's an oral history a collection of, of yeah. monologues and pieces. Were there, uh, were there pieces that didn't make it into the play, or is this pretty comprehensive to the book? Well, the book, no, it, it can't be, the book was filled with so many, many stories. This mm -hmm. is one, I, I picked what moved me, because mm -hmm. that's what you do as a playwright or a sure. director, you start with what moves you, mm -hmm. and that gives you it gives you a vision. Mm -hmm. So the vignettes sort of cover um, stories of influenza, stories mm -hmm. of uh, Navajo raiding parties, stories mm -hmm. of the land grant laws changing, and then little bits of everyday life, riddles, mm -hmm. e evenings of riddles, and the, uh, what didn't make it in maybe were some more stories, or more intense stories. Mm -hmm. Uh, along the same lines, yeah. but what I did was it made I created a storyline about a man returning to the place where he was born mm -hmm. uh, to collect stories, mm -hmm. and he meets these four viejitos mm -hmm. who not only tell him stories but act him and sing him and mm -hmm. dance him and you know bring the past back. So he's encountering the past. Gotcha. Okay. So now, uh, Joseph, you you act in this, you perform in this. No, right. I'm, no, I'm actually in the boxcar. Right, you're in the boxcar. Right. Okay, so, uh, but you working at NHCC, obviously you're working yeah. as a producer on this. Uh, exactly. So, the, the big question, of course, I, I know in the book it sort of chronicles a timeline between about 1910 to 1950 yeah. uh, for Nassario. What is, the, what is the modern relevance? Is it really that sort of everyman journey of going back to our roots and discovering who we are? 
I think it's part of it. And I think the, in the invitation for the play is come and discover. Mm -hmm. Because for some people, it could be memories of how they grew up or how their grandparents grew up. Mm -hmm. For some people, it could be just about storytelling, how we used to tell each other stories. We still do, mm -hmm. but there was time that we took. For some people, it might be stories of why people stay in a place, why mm -hmm. people leave, you mm -hmm. know? Um, so I think come to the play and discover wha yeah. how the Rio Puerco matters to you. Gotcha, fantastic. So uh, you open tonight? We Is open that right? tonight okay. and we run for four nights. For four nights? I mean, sorry, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, and okay. Sunday at 2 o'clock. Yeah. Okay, at the National Hispanic Cultural Center, the Journal Theater. And uh, from what I understand, I won't give anything away to the audience, but you guys have configured the space into a very unique and cool way. Absolutely. So folks that may not be as familiar, they may have seen the grand shows at the Journal Theater. Mm -hmm. We're going to see an intimate performance That's in a right. very big space, and it's very clever the way you guys have done it. Right. So for more information on this, as well as the theater festival going on over at the National Hispanic Cultural Center for the next nine months, you guys yes. are going to be very busy. Head over to krqe.com, click on links. We'll be right back.